Hey guys, so I have a little bit of a different video for you today. I actually have a DIY project that I recently did. Um, I love nail polishes and I have a lot, like around a hundred. I haven't gone and exactly counted them all, but I have about a hundred, give or take a few. And I wanted to, instead of just staring at my whole collection and trying to decide what color to use, I've seen a lot of people who get the little nail polish swatch wheels that you can get at beauty supply stores and just categorize everything that way so they had um, almost like a paint chip to look at and to decide what nail polish they want to wear. So I was like, well, that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. And... I was looking at Sally Beauty Supply because that is the only place around me that I can get something like that. And they were like for a wheel with 18 nails on it, it was like six $6. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to spend so much money just to get all my polishes on a nail wheel. So I was like, there's got to be a way I can do this myself. Now I will say I kind of looked on the internet to see some ideas if anyone had an idea how to make your own and I saw some but I kind of did my own version of it and I am going to share that with you today. So first of all um, I just want to show you um, what the end result is. I'll actually show you this one. So this is one of my nail wheels uh, with all my pretty polishes on it. This is what the end result is going to look like and I am going to show you step by step how to get there. So what I decided to use, um, the first thing you need to do is gather materials and what I needed were some old CDs. So yay CD! Um, several old CDs, some spray paint, a sharpie, hot glue gun, and some nails. And I found the uh, most inexpensive way was to actually get a set of just plain nails that you can glue on. So glue on nails. These were the Kiss. Um, it was a box of a hundred and they were just oval shaped and medium length and um, for 100 nails, it was about, I think, $6 at CVS. So maybe it was a little more. Maybe it was like $7 at CVS. And um, I ended up actually getting two boxes. Just, um, I'll, you'll kind of see why. But, um, yeah, I, I just got this. And I figured it was best I won't use the glue at the bottom because obviously I'm not gluing these nails to myself. But these are all just regular plain nails in there. Alright, so I had all my supplies. And the first thing that I did is I took the old CD and I used the side that had like writing on it. And these were actually, I think I used old like mix tapes. <laughs> And um, just took those, it was CDs I had burned for myself, and I took them outside in a well-ventilated area, put um, some newspaper under them, and I sprayed them. And the spray paint that I used was the Krylon Satin Touch, it's a satin finish. And uh, it dries in 12 minutes or less. I let mine dry for about 15 minutes but um, it says 12 minutes or less. And um, it was in, what color was this in? I used the color Ivory Satin. And I actually got this at my local uh, Habitat Restore, which is a thrift shop that um, consigns objects to support the Habitat for Humanity. And um, so I got this a lot cheaper than I would have at a store, plus it was helping out Habitat for Humanity. So yay, win-win. And I liked the ivory color versus white, so that worked out well. And I liked the satin finish. 
Okay, so I spray painted my CDs and let them dry. And then the next step was to actually glue the nails on. So I'll go ahead and get this open. And what I did to glue the nails on, you just need a hot glue gun. And just take the nail, and I don't know if you can see this, but on these nails, it has like a little like thing, because I know they're cheap nails. Um, but you can tell which is supposed to be the end and which is not. And the part that's not supposed to be the end, all you want to do is take a little bit of hot glue and put it right on the edge and then just take your nail and put it on there just like that so I'll kind of show that again and I usually space them far enough you can do the spacing however far apart you want but um, I try to leave enough room to write the names and brands of all the nail polishes. So I found that, you know, maybe that much room was okay. And um, after you've gone around your entire CD and glued all the nails on, it is um, best for you, the next thing to do would be to take like all the little stringies that the hot glue guns leave and take those off so they're not in the way and I mean you could do this a lot neater but I was trying to do it quickly so you can see a little bit of the hot glue at the bottom but if it doesn't bother you it didn't bother me anyways so after you've gotten all the nails glued around what I did and I'll use one of mine as an example is and please excuse my sloppy writing I wrote first of all in the center this is my blues and greens so all my blues and greens I wrote and then um, like I wrote WW which is wet and wild I need a refreshment and then I wrote Skylark and I put the name sea glass and Zoya Neely. So I, you know, went through and I just wrote all the names on there. Brand, I like to do the brand names and the um, actual name of the nail polish because where I store my nail polishes, they are categorized by brand. So if I look on this wheel and I'm like, oh, okay, I want this Skylark polish and I'm going to wear that today. Um, I can go right to my Skylark section and then look for this name, Sea Glass. After I got all the names written down, there's more, that one's blank, um, I went ahead and painted and I did one coat. Um, I guess it's a personal preference whether you do more than one coat, but I did one coat because I like to see like with one coat how sheer the polish is going to be and that kind of helps me plan how many coats I may need and uh, what it looks like you know with just that one coat so I just did one um, you could do two it was also a lot faster to just do one <laughs> um, but I had all my polishes and I did all my blues and greens on here and that is how it turned out so now I can you know look at this and decide okay I want to wear blue polish but I'm not sure which kind of blue I can also take this wheel up to an outfit if I have a special occasion and you know I'm kind of a matchy matchy person so I could take this over this nail wheel over to an outfit and hold up the little polish swatches to it and find which one would best match maybe some colors in a printed blouse or um, you know the color of a dress whatever it, I need to do um, anyway so this is how they turned out I was really happy with it and I used all the nails I'll show, kind of show you the difference um, this was my blue green wheel and then I also had a um, white, silver, and gold, 
and I used the little, I used all the nails, I didn't want to waste any, but you can see, they're little, they're tiny little nails, but um, they, uh, they still work the same, you can still see plenty of the color, and hey, this is what my pinky will look like if I paint it this color. So I used all of them all the way from like a thumb fingernail to the pinky fingernails and all of them worked and um, just an idea of the categories I had. I had of course blues and greens. I, I did white, silver, and gold because I only had really two white nail polishes and I, I just put them with metallics because they were kind of shimmery whites. I also had uh, browns and nudes so there's browns and nudes and I did purples because I have a lot of purple polishes and this one uh, those are pinks I have a lot of pink polishes so those are all pink polishes then I did um, I put yellow, orange, coral, and red together because I only had a couple, like I only have two yellow polishes and I only have two oranges, a couple corals, and then I really don't have that many reds because I feel like pinks there's a variety of color, but red there really isn't that much variety, and I found that, like a couple good red colors that I really like and I just use those. Um, I also did a wheel for my special effect polishes. So I have several of the um, magnetic colors where you like put it on and then hold a magnet to it. So I have a couple colors in that. And I also have some crackle polishes even though I didn't paint under them so they didn't really crackle on these nails because I didn't do like a coat of nail polish under it but I can at least see the color and actually I can see that um, some of them or most of them are very matte when they go on so um, yeah it just kind of gives me a, a reference to the color and then whether they're matte or a more glossy finish and then the other wheel that I did was for all my glitter polishes and these were uh, polishes that were glitter with a clear base. Um, I had some polishes that were glitter with a colored base and I just put them with the appropriate color. But the glitter with clear base, I did it there. And a lot of my wheels have, I think all of them have at least one nail that's empty. So I can see, um, well I've got, you know, if I have, if I get a new glitter polish then I have an empty space to put it in and I can just add to that wheel. So I just left the space in each category if I didn't fill it up all the way. I hope this um, little project was help for, helpful for you and uh, maybe gave you an idea. This was kind of my way to save money and um, you know do something to help me be better organized and but not spend too much money in doing it. If you have any questions um, or you didn't quite understand part of this then just leave me a comment below. I'll be happy to answer any questions you have or to explain something a little bit better about this project. But I, I, like I said, I hope this helped you and that maybe you got a idea of something um, to do instead of spending a lot of money on nail polish swatch wheels. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked this uh, DIY project and I'll see you later. Bye.